Vaccination Vaccines were developed to protect humans and animals from serious diseases, such as measles, chickenpox, whooping cough, hepatitis B, COVID-19, rabies and many more diseases caused by various types of pathogens, like bacteria and viruses. How does vaccination work? Vaccination is the injection of specific particles into a healthy individual. These particles could be a weakened or inactive pathogen, a modified version of the pathogen, an isolated part of the pathogen, a toxoid, inactivated bacterial toxin. Once the vaccine is injected and any of these particles enter the bloodstream, the white blood cells are activated. Macrophages are the first to respond to the appearance of an antigen, pathogen or piece of pathogen, recognized as a non-self. This response is innate and nonspecific since macrophages react rapidly regardless of the antigen's identity. They ingest the inactivated or dead pathogen, process it and display antigen fragments on their cell surfaces. Macrophages with antigen fragments displayed on their surfaces are called antigen-presenting cells or APC. A helper T cell, with a receptor that can recognize specifically this antigen, binds to it and becomes activated. Once activated, helper T cells release special protein molecules that stimulate other immunological cells involved in the specific immune response, B and T lymphocytes, and activate their response. Our body has millions of lymphocytes with a large variety of antigen receptors able to recognize almost all infecting pathogens. Only lymphocytes having receptors for this specific antigen will be activated. Once activated, T and B cells undergo a rapid proliferation. T lymphocytes differentiate into cytotoxic killer cells that eliminate infected cells and into memory cells that remain on standby. On the other hand, stimulated B cells undergo a rapid proliferation and differentiate into plasma cells, antibodies producing cells, and memory B cells. The plasma cells will produce a large number of antibodies, specific to the vaccine antigen, and able to neutralize it. This response is acquired and specific. The concentration of antibodies in the blood increases and reaches its peak after two or three weeks. This is the primary immune response. Following this peak, the infection is controlled. The concentration of plasma cells and antibodies gradually decreases. However, by the end of this primary response, the specific adaptive immune system has retained memory of this specific antigen by producing memory cells. If the vaccinated individual comes in contact with the infectious pathogen, this second exposure to the same antigen makes the memory B lymphocytes proliferate and differentiate into plasma cells that produce faster and in larger quantities, the same type of antibodies that will specifically bind to the specific antigen of the pathogen. This is known as the secondary immune response which is faster and stronger than the primary immune response. Conclusion. Because vaccines contain only dead or weakened forms of germs, they do not cause any harm. Instead, they activate your body's natural defense mechanism to help your immune system develop immunological memory and build resistance against diseases. A vaccinated individual will show no or very mild symptoms of the disease once in contact with the dangerous pathogen. He is said to be immune to this specific disease.